Borrowing from Turkey's central bank just got a notch cheaper. In the monetary policy decision announced on Tuesday, the banking regulator says it expects the inflation to tr sorry expects the inflation to trend lower, and it's taken the opportunity to drop two key borrowing rates. The central bank uses a number of rates to manage inflation and the supply money in the economy. It's cut the marginal funding rate by a quarter of a percent to eight and a half percent. The late liquidity rate has also been lowered by the same proportion to 10 percent. Both reductions will help banks to lend consumers at lower rates. A number of banks have also lowered mortgage rates after President Erdogan urged banks to support economic growth. Well, joining me in the studio to discuss the monetary policy and its impact is Hatija Karahan. She is an associate professor of economics at Istanbul Medipol University. Welcome to the programme. Um, is Turkey moving towards a focus on growth instead of inflation? Not actually. Uh, if we are talking about the reduction today, uh, there are some points we should underline uh, before growth concerns. For, uh, first of all, um, Turkey Central Bank has been following a simplification process this year uh, with the purpose of narrowing down a wide interest rate corridor for a single benchmark interest rate. And that's why Central Bank claims that the reductions it makes this year uh, mainly serves this purpose. And the second point is that the um, discount made today is on the upper band of the interest rate corridor and it's only 25, 25 uh, basis points. And the, focus, the main focus here is the average funding rate, which is the weighted average of the overnight lending rate and the weekly lending rate. That's why this uh, wouldn't have a significant effect on the overall picture. And combining these two points, we can express that central bank's move today is rather um, a measured step towards simplification. Well, I want to talk about how this affects you know, the average person. If we look at food prices yeah. as an example, they have risen in recent weeks. And the central bank says it expects those to come down in the short term. Mm -hmm. But how much of a threat is inflation for Turkey at this point? It's not a, a real threat, actually, because we, uh, our inflation is uh, one digit. Uh, and, but still, we have some targets, of course. Turkey's central bank's target is 5% in the medium run. Uh, but now, uh, it's around 8.8%. In the first five months of the year, we observed a remarkable decrease in inflation rate, consumer inflation rate. But then in June and July, it wiggled up again and reached 8.8%. It's, and it's mainly due to the unprocessed food prices. So uh, things should be done about food prices uh, for them to cool down in Turkey to stabilize the prices. And on the other hand, Turkish Central Bank also focuses on core inflation rate as well. And we have observed some improvements this year in core inflation too, but it's limited. That's why Turkish Central Bank expresses in today's statement as well that the inflation rate will be the main indicator for its further decisions. If you can briefly, um, President Erdogan obviously wants to attract more investment, wants to get people to spend. Is this going to work? Well, it depends on the accumulation of the reductions in interest rates. If it's enough to revive the investments, enhance growth through that channel, yeah, we can see uh, some effects. But again, um, it depends on how strongly and to what extent the reflection will be on borrowing costs. Hatija Karahan, thank you so much. Thank you.